Honorable Parakura Haramia. Kite kini tu heitia mo meto ahurei e mihiana. Te nā koutou mo tō kai i te tai atu i kone, ia koutou te kini tanga tainu i whānui. Ia koutou o raukaua mania poto ngāti tūwhare tō te ārawa te nā koutou. Nā te me i roti a wetahi o tātou ngā konohi Māori i kone, kua tai atu tō wā mo tō otinga. Otinga o tēnei tino take. Mai te pako pako o ngā pū o te kāwana, mai ngā heke, ngā neke, ngā piki, ngā hua katoa, e mau matatau ia koutou tainui ku i tērā. Nā te pai hoki o te pire nei, e tae tahi e noho tahi atu te ui i te taha o rātau e tuku ture mō te āhu o te awa nei. E mihi koe ana kia koe e koro, e maiko, te nā koutou. E tuku, kanui te mihi. I tō tātou mina te Māori e pita, e mihi koe ana. Ia koe Chris, te nā koe. E tau toko atu te nui o ngā kōroro e kōroro a tāriana mō te āhu o te kuremene. E mōhi atu tātou te pakaritanga i roti a bab i kotahi i a rātou mā amurira. E tai tahi atu tātou i kone hei whakāhe. Ahako i reira kē te tahi rōpu e kāre e whakāhe. Mr. Speaker, for the first time, Tainui has been included in management of the Awa River. It is historic and poignant because Tainui has never at any time been part of the management or clearly in the decision-making. Passageways for the travel, waterway to carry their goods for bartering and exchange was certainly what they have lived and imbued in their history. Ironically, it was along the same passageway that the soldiers attacked Tainui. And it is great, and it is an honour, like my colleague Tariana Turiya says, to be here today to ensure that those sins and ills of the past are put asunder and that it is recognised. There are a host of examples where the iwi opinion was ne has never been c considered, i.e. the power station, other issues about buildings on the Awa and that, and today we'll put that aside. I certainly want to recognise the Minister Chris Finlayson for the effort especially my previous colleague, Dr. Michael Cullen, and the Minister of Māori Affairs, and Koro Wetere, who's here today. Nā ke ngā kōroro o kotahi, no tātou te awa, no te awa tātou. He taonga tuku ihu, nā ngā tupuna, taua taonga mō ngā uri whakatupu. E kore e tā e te wehe te iwi o waikato me te awa. E whakapono ana mātou, ko tā mātou he tiaki. Kia waikato tainu e he tupuna te awa o waikato. E mauana te mana, te mauri, me te kaha o te iwi. He mauri motu haku tō te awa. He wairo aku tōna, he tua kiri tino kaha, he mauri tua tahi e kore e wehe. Mr. Speaker, there are words that have been spoken in the treasured language of Tainui and certainly all those people who have been on that journey right from the time of Potato to Ferrofero. And it is important to say at this time, just in case I forget, that the king's role is that, inherited. And it is important in relation to all the actions that will pervade the development of the settlement that that is taken cognizance of not there just as a figurehead, but certainly to have, and that we can build up Minister on the way to ensure that his say is real and not just platitudes of thanks. To mana o te awa, to Waikato Tainui, the Waikato River is a tupuna ancestor, which has mana prestige and in turn represents the mana and Māori life force of the tribe. The river has its own Māori, its own spiritual energy, its own powerful identity, it is a single, indivisible being. And I do know that people, partners, whether they've been local authorities, environmental groups, or other organisations, have struggled to understand, to appreciate, or even accept that. And today is a day of acceptance. Today is historic in this country where we should relish what certainly 
is a great effort to put together. Respect for the Manotawa, the spiritual authority, protective power and prestige of the Waikato River is at the heart of the relationship between the tribe and the ancestral river Waikato Tainui. Regard their river with reverence and love. Simple issues about love. Non-essential but very strong in its meaning. I can recall the days when Robert Mahuta came here in a big station wagon with the mattress in the back and they'd bring their kai in the bin and they'd come down and try and convince those dastardly ministers about what should be corrected. And they've moved on now and I want to commend the Kauhanga Nui, I want to commend TGH and all of those groupings in Tainui that matter, Aitara Taura and me, the Karata. But this is a real irony that we have got this far. It is great that we can celebrate. And I want to mihi to Raiha. I was there the day when they put all the white seats out in the front of Wahi, and the lady, the Tato Ariki, Te Atarangi Kahu, named her as a spokesperson. And I could hear this bit of a kiko kiko with these tiny new people. But most were all right. And I can see two of you up there now. And I want to say to you, it was the right thing to do. And I know I, uh, I'm sorry she's not here, but I know she wouldn't want us to be sad. She would want us to celebrate this great day. And that's what we intend to do. That's what we intend to do. There are a host of detail. There is a host of detail in the bill. It is well read. It is well spoken. But there are simple things that we have to remind. If this nation is serious about nationhood, if it is serious about giving Māori a better shot, then we certainly have to get into cooperations like this. There's nothing to be afraid of. And I want to commend the iwi and the Māori for coming to the table, because that's not easy. And for those who are scaremongering about this would create incessant pain, then go jump, because that's not right. It's a disgrace. And the Labour Party will be supporting this bill and we will ensure that it goes through. And I want to plead, no, no, I won't plead, I want to ask the ACT Party to consider it, reconsider even at this late call. And I want to tell Mr Garrett it would take a brave person and party and seeing he's here by himself to agree. <laughs> this isn't hocus pocus as your leader said. There is real nationhood going forward. This is about thinking about this country, about all New Zealanders, but it's also about Maori standing up after they had been pillaged, plundered and debauched. And at the end of the day, that's what today is about to celebrate, Mr Speaker. We need to do that. We can go on the detail in the bills. But in summary, I do want to recognise uh, Raiha and Tukuroi Rangi Morgan, because there's nothing like being a great leader in Māori, they say you count the knives in your backs. That's why most Māori members in this parliament have that. Mihi kāna ki to tātou kai whakahaira a tau and my colleagues on the Māori Affairs Select Committee. We've done a not bad job. And then I want to mihi to them. So, Mr Speaker, Labour will support this, like Michael Cullen led us in more modern times to get to this point. And we do want to give Tainui our best wishes. But we do want us to remember this is a model in contemporary times that can solve a whole lot of issues. The rubbish about Māori not knowing what they want to go, that they're all mad, bad and sad, comes to an end in this sort of thing. And I want to say to those mischief makers on the side, Tainu is going forward commercially, it is going forward culturally, it has a king and a leader, and I want to ask the colleagues on the other side of the House to make sure that he's safe is an integral part of this journey forward. But it is a great day to celebrate. This is historic, and we are really, really thankful that we're here. Kia ora tata. I want to mihi to my colleague Nanaya Mahuta for the effort that she's put in. Mita Rudinui, Shane Jones. I was going to say myself, but I better not. Uh, <laughs> but mihi koena kia koe te kingi tu heitia, te a koto o tainui whanui, kia kaha kia mai. Ya koto e shane, ma kaitu hi ma kai mahi e koro, kaitu e mahi atu ma mahi e mohi atu te mamai, 
או תהי כוי פן העיתון.